This is the Freak Talk synthesizer. It is built on the Arduino Mega processor platform and drives two Magnavation SpeakJet speech synthesizer chips. On PowerUp, the SpeakJet chips announce their readiness and the panel lamps run through a neat little sequence to show that they're working. <laughs> There are also four multicolor lamps that cycle through colors interactively with the knob settings. The symmetrical control panel services two independent channels with knobs for speed, pitch, resonance, and freakiness, which actually selects the specific sound to be played on that channel. I'll demonstrate. <laughs> The pitch knob is tuned roughly chromatically over three octaves. The pitch isn't perfect since the SpeakJet chips were not really designed to make music, but it's close enough to be musical. The speech synthesizer chips are designed to approximate all the various sounds and variations of spoken words, but they can also play an assortment of bleepy sound effects that are reminiscent of R2-D2 from the Star Wars movies. <laughs> Surprisingly to me, the SpeakJet chips also have a resonance function. Oddly, the reference material refers to this parameter as bend, but here's what it sounds like. <laughs> The switches around the perimeter are for MIDI synchronization and to act activate the repeater, which allows sounds to be played repetitively without having to keep pressing the trigger button. The switches in the center are an alternate form of control for the pitch and resonance knobs. When engaged, they gradually sweep the pitch or resonance up or down by steps as the sound plays. Also, if the up and down switches are both engaged at the same time, each step will be randomized. The upper panel has knobs for volume and beat interval, and controls for the arpeggiators. As you saw a moment ago, the unit can be played directly by pressing the trigger buttons. Each channel has an arpeggiator that can play from 2 to 16 steps. When the unit is first powered up, the arpeggiators are both programmed to say the word Freak Talk. <laughs> When the randomized buttons are pressed, the arpeggiator steps are filled with random sounds from its vocabulary. Alternate presses of the randomized button will inhibit, then allow, the bleepy sound effects to also randomly be added to the active pattern. So if you don't like the sound effects in there, always press the randomize button twice at a time. 
When the arpeggiators are active in conjunction with the repeaters, the repeater lamps will wink off periodically. This is to indicate the first step of the pattern. The knobs that control the number of steps in the arpeggiator pattern also have a secondary function. They control the pitch interval when using the pitch up and pitch down switches down here. You can sweep the range in two steps, 36 steps, or somewhere in between. The beat interval knobs determine how often a sound is played when using the repeater. When synchronized to a MIDI clock source, the range is 16th notes all the way down to once every 8 bars. When not synced to MIDI, it uses an arbitrary time scale. I'll demonstrate with, this, with the unit synced to a drum machine. Also, see how the tempo will stay in lockstep with the incoming MIDI clock when I turn down the tempo on the drum machine. Note that the MIDI sync lights wink at a rate determined by the beat interval knobs. This allows you to visually anticipate where the sound would fall in the rhythm even if the unit's not producing sound at any given moment. One interesting feature of using MIDI sync is that even when playing the unit manually with the trigger buttons, the sound will always be delayed until the next beat pulse so that it will always fit into the rhythm. It's sort of a real-time quantizer. <laughs> There are also two hidden power-up modes that are activated by holding down specific buttons when switching the unit on. The first mode plays pure sine wave tones at A440 and A220 while the lights run through a light show pattern. This is provided for setting amplifier levels and balance when the unit's being used in a studio recording environment. <laughs> Then you can press a button to exit this mode and return to normal playing mode. The other power-up mode causes each channel to repeat the name Freak Talk at random speeds, pitches, and resonances, while the panel lamps run through a completely different light show pattern. <laughs> Again, press a button to exit this mode and return to normal playing mode. Now check out the other video to see this thing in action. Thanks for watching.